Hi, this is Mark Morrell from Toon Barn, and we're here at San Diego Comic Con 2016, and we're kicking it off with Teen Titans Go! Awesome. And I've got Kari Payton here, who's Cyborg. Absolutely, man. Good to see you again. We were just saying I saw you a few months ago, uh, WonderCon, and uh, and uh, I think we did a, like like a, a Lego um, uh, press thing, you know, not too long ago. So it's always nice to see you. Always nice to see you. So. Uh, you're going with the, uh, the oh, smooth look. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that I shaved my head. Yeah, I, I have a, um, I have one of these top secret like NDA things that I that I am working on right now that that uh, I I shaved my head for because because uh, it's hot. It's it's really hot, and I, and I was like, I was like, you know what? They, and, and they 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 have this apparatus that they put on my head, and you know all this motion capture, whatnot. You know that I would love to be able to tell you about at some point. You know, maybe I will, and uh, <laughs> if they ever let me. But um, but yeah, yeah. So I had to actually shave my head for uh for another thing, and um and uh it's it's all that's the cool thing about this job is you never know what you might be doing. It's pretty cool. I just noticed that on the panel, three out of the six people look like. Cyborg. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, you know, it's uh, you know, the more we hang out, the more we start to look like yeah. each other. Yeah, that's, that's right. What that's what a family does, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, at San Diego Comic Con this year, there's exclusive. Funko Pop figures for all the Teen Titans characters. Nice. Dude, and I'm going to pick them all up. I love Funko. Absolutely. Those Pop things are, I mean, they're so cute. I already got, I've already got a, a, a uh, I think I got a Beast Boy. I, 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 do I have them all? I might have. Actually, my wife is really good about when when, when those things come out. Mm -hmm. They she she uh, gets so so. There's a new version. Yeah. That's dude. Exclusive to San Diego Comic Con this year. Oh man, I'm gonna have to tackle somebody, yeah. man. Somebody's somebody's legs about to get broken. I apologize. But what you want me to do? It's my stuff. All right. So uh, in the island episodes that we watched at the panel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They had some Jamaican music at the beginning of that. Uh, you know what? Did man? you get into that? Did you like no, that? Yeah, I love it. I love it. You know what? Um, uh, Peter, um, Pete Michael, who, who who's uh, one of our um, our directors and uh, and producers, he has just got such a great ear for the for the music. Most of the the, the music that that comes off at first, it was um, Aaron and Michael uh, were would uh, would just say, "Carry, make something up. Greg, make something up." You know, yeah, you guys make, make, make up a song, but uh, but Pete came in and and he's like he's he's bringing in all kinds of different musical influences and it's really awesome. Uh, I mean, we've got some great surprises in store music wise. I mean, you, I mean, I wish I could tell you it's so cool, it's so cool, but it's coming. Okay. Well, in a recent episode, Robin was pointing out all the different classifications of the the Titans for like a high school clique, you know. <laughs> Like uh, Breakfast Club style, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Well, we so, all love the Breakfast Club, and uh, and I, I think we were all we were talking about it, uh, uh, you know, in or outside the booth at some point, and so uh, and so yeah, I mean, and and Teen Titans Go is all about parody. I mean, you know, and so so we're just pulling in, you know, uh, uh, the things that we love growing up, you know, whether it's um, you know old TV shows from the 80s or it's uh, or it's old movies from the 80s you know we're gonna use all of that right. so uh, so yeah yeah so that was that was absolutely we just we totally stole that entire episode from from, from uh, yeah yeah from uh, the breakfast club all right so which click would you, you have fallen into in high school you know what honestly I was I hung out with everybody and and I and I, I, like I remembered I like like uh, like the, the the guys I grew up with you know I I hang out with the, at lunch and then and then I go hang out with these guys uh, in the library my more like intellectual folks then my theater people and then my th then my guys who are more sports oriented I go play with them but literally I I would just move around the you know uh, the the school and um and so so I always I always kind of enjoyed the fact that I would kind of that, that I that I knew just about everybody you know in, in high school I, I hung out with just about everybody all right well I, I'm thanking you right now for hanging out with us on Toon Barn oh, man, I would, I, hey man you got to come out and hang out with the Toon Barn man yeah. you know you just because um, you can leave the door open right because it's a barn yeah that's what you do you know all right. the, tune, the tunes just come and go as they please okay well thank you for joining us at San Diego Comic-Con take care man nice Thanks to see lot, you Mark man. take care thanks Throw uh, uh, new voices or, or new opportunity for new voices uh, uh, all the time. So, so, uh, so I, I have a ball uh, uh, being able to 
to, to play, uh, like I played uh, Zan of the Wonder Twins. Yeah. I was like, which is my favorite because he's the worst superhero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always fun to play with all these weird. Yeah, but I like when we go into the future, you guys somehow cyborg and Beast Boy grew into having accents as they got older. <laughs> well, when you get older, sometimes you talk differently. <laughs> Is that gefilte fish? <laughs> Pass me the matzo. Beast Boy's Jewish. <laughs> Adventure, five whole days of paradise. Starts Monday, August 1st at 6.